Hey guys, take a quick look here in Norwich, Connecticut at a foreclosure. This is a, a big house, approximately 4,000 square feet. Four rental units are in there. Problem is, the thing was built in 1875. So you're looking at a 150 year old house, very dilapidated, absolutely no parking space whatsoever I mean you could park on the street but you know how many of the residents uh, are able to park on the street maybe three or four here I mean it's it's ridiculous the other thing I notice is there's only six bedrooms among the four apartments you know so you're not gonna get you probably got a couple single bedroom units and a couple two bedroom units I would think but uh, the foreclosure is for about $220,000. I checked the realtors, and uh, there is a pending sale on this, actually. It's, it was set to foreclose in February, middle of February, but it looks like it will be sold soon for two hundred thirty-five five. So if somebody thinks they could work some magic with this thing, what's interesting is there's some information on, on the listing here. It says, uh, great investment, sold as is. Three units need complete rehab. Has a failing sewer line that needs to be replaced. Some electrical upgrades have been done in 2020. Roof was replaced in 2020 as well. Along with some upgrades to the front porch. I mean, overall, it looks like a fucking hodgepodge. I, I don't, I don't like the porch in the front at all. You know, I think it would have been nicer just to have the the building. This might have been an add-on over the years. But the neighborhood is kind of run down. It's an old industrial area here. Old industrial area here in Norwich. You see the building across the street's really shit, run down, falling apart. You know, lower class here. Although, you know, the buildings are, are, could use some gentrification here, guys, you know, with the right number of investors to come in and clean these places up. Again, the major problem I hear, I see here is the, the, the amount of work needed to rehab this thing and the no parking other than street parking. So, I guess a quickie here in Norwich foreclosure that's going to be sold to some guy that's going to try to work magic with this. I may come back here in a six months or so and see what happens with this. If anything is done or if it just becomes another slumlord situation. Anyway, that's it for now. Take care, guys.